Hi, welcome to the Quinta. And in today's video, the chickens have had a visitor, so we're going to try and sort that out. And what else are we doing? I've forgotten what else we're doing. Oh yes, and I'm pruning some olive trees. So let's go and do that. Donc on va voyez. mettre le, le métal en dessus, comme ça, ça, ouais, ça, ça, ça a bien prêt. C'est où c'est là Derrière, regarde. Derrière. Ouais. Bon, comme d'hab. Time to recycle this old bit of corrugated iron that we've been using to drag things around on, and it can go underneath the chicken pen, and hopefully stop things getting into it. Now it's a question of rolling over the chicken hut so that we can first of all get a look at what's going on underneath and then we can think about moving it. Ah, ah it's rusted. Now. So what appears to have happened is some beast has come and tried to get into the chickens last night and we got woken up at about three in the morning by one of the dogs woofing very loudly and doing a bit of chasing. So yeah, they didn't actually get anything, which is good news. And Maya this morning, she came and had a quick sniff and she was off up the mountain as well. So goodness knows what they found. Now it's time to transport it. It's jolly heavy, so luckily there are four of us to do the job. So what happens when you leave things outside? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The handle's completely gone. Um, Est-ce que ça, 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 ça va être l'entrée? Oui, mais il faut le renforcer. Oui, il faut le renforcer, c'est sûr. De l'autre côté, c'est renforcé. Et de l'autre côté, ça peut être l'entrée aussi, effectivement. Ouais. Et donc dans ces cas-là, si on fait ça comme ça, ah ouais attends, ça regarde. Là c'est pas mal parce que si tu veux mettre, ouais tu peux enlever ça pour faire l'entrée effectivement, ouais, voilà. Many hands of course make light work. We've soon not only got the chickens moved, we've also got a new bed to plant vegetables in. That's good news. Oh, what you do? Oh, what have you found? <laughs> right, 
right I want to take out this uh, central bit and I've attached it here with a rope and I'm hoping that that's going to work to pull it this way a bit because I've got a roof here which I don't want to smash guess we're going to find out That was a bit dodgy, but effective. Didn't go on the roof. Now I want to take this chunk out again without it hopefully falling on the roof So what that's done, apart from getting me completely covered in all sorts of dust, <laughs> is I've opened up the center of this tree and that should allow it to uh, put a lot more energy into uh, the other bits. I'm not gonna bother painting over this because the sap is rising at the moment. It should push anything out of the wound and you can see I've taken it off at an angle and that is so that any water flows off. It doesn't just sit there. What do you think about that, Maya? I've got some sticks to chop up, haven't I? <laughs> Now a little bit of time just to take the rope down so I can lower the log safely to the floor and then get all the trip hazards out of the way because otherwise I'm going to find myself flat on my face and that's good for watching, not for being. This is absolutely lovely firewood Olive, it really is. Because that's so much heat. So. Yeah, I'm going to chop this up a bit later on. And I think this bit as well, I shall take out. And again, I think probably just roping it because otherwise it's going to go straight through into the chicken enclosure. Sawdust in the eyes. Probably good for them.
I don't want to take off too much in one go. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'll leave that tree now. Um, we did get a good harvest off it last year. Um, I don't want to take any more off because, of course, I don't want to kill it. <coughs> oh, I've got loads of stuff in my throat now. Right, go and choose the next one. Look at this here. It's a result of the fire damage. And I had to come round and put a lot of these trees out, but they are incredibly resilient. We have got some bracket fungus there. So I'm actually not going to do anything at all to this tree because I don't want to give it any excuse to be weakened. Chances are it would grow. And you can see how once upon a time it really was an enormous tree. It would grow again from the bottom. But uh, yeah, I think we'll leave this one alone today. You, however, could do with a trim. Because you've got lots of different branches coming off. Hmm. Choices, choices. That one isn't looking very pretty at the moment. You see this one here, it is nicely trimmed, it's got all the uh, cup shape and it's growing out to the edges and that should actually be a very nice shade tree as well. What about you? Well, that great big trunk in the middle. Here we are at the end of another video. Thank you so much for watching and for coming along on the journey. Please do hit like and subscribe. And if you'd like to, we've also got some channel memberships where you can get some extra content. Take care of yourself. See you next time. So many trees growing out of the walls, which isn't really ideal because of course, if and when they fall down, Take the wall with it. Do some strimming, you're gonna vanish in this soon, aren't you? Yeah, look at all these flowers.